Hey guys, Mr. Barnes here, again. This is like the 10th time I've made this video because every time I do it, my mic messes up. Uh, so hopefully this is the one. All right, so this is the first video of uh, Unit 4 on Circle Geometry. Uh, so hopefully uh, by making these videos that I give you guys a bit of a advantage on your public exam, every little bit counts. And uh, this first video, is just a little review of Pythagorean theorem. And I thought it might be neat to use some chord properties with this. This is just doing a simple triangle problem. I thought it might be neat just to do uh, some simple chord properties. Um, so let's see what we got here. This is our first question. Let me just read it to you. It says, the circle with center O shown. Oh, wait. My mom's calling. Just one second. And I'm back. Here we go. So I don't remember what I said before my mom called, so let's see where we're at. Circle of the center O shown has a, has a diameter of 24 centimeters. So the diameter is 24 centimeters. That must mean that the radius is 12. So my radius is equal to 12 centimeters. And it says if the chord AC is 8 centimeters from the center, so here's the center A, and here's the chord AC that goes from one end of the circle to the other. So that's uh, 8 centimeters. So what is the length of chord AC? So we're looking for this length. Now, one of the things that, uh, one of the properties that we talked about in class, Mr. Elliot talked about with you guys, is that if you have a chord, uh, like this one AC, that such that there's a line coming from the center of the circle and bisects the chord into two equal pieces, that we can say right here that there's a right angle. It basically creates a perpendicular bisector. So what ends up happening is that if we're looking for the uh, whole distance chord AC, what we can do is find half the length. So we can call that half the length X, and we can create a right triangle. And here's our right triangle, and our radius, and a lot of people sometimes don't see this, is that the radius from the center to the edge of the circle is just this hypotenuse, so 12. So you can see we have a right triangle, and anytime we have a right triangle, we can always use right triangle tree. And one of the things that we can use is Pythagorean theorem. So everyone remembers Pythagorean theorem to be c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. And in this case, we're not solving for the hypotenuse, which is c. We're solving for one of the legs, so we can take that one to be a. So we got to rearrange this guy for a squared. So a squared is just going to equal, in this case, c squared minus b squared. So I just basically subtracted b squared from both sides. So now let's fill in some blanks here. So A is just X, and C is 12, 12 squared, and B is 8 squared. So we're left with uh, 12 squared is 144, and 8 is 64, 8 squared is 64, so that's X squared. And then 144 minus 64 is just 80, and then... We can take the square to both sides to get rid of the x squared. So x is equal to the square root of 80. And we're just going to, I'm just going to approximate 80. It's not a perfect square. So x is about, I'm just going to say 8.95. Uh, that sounds good to me. So 8.95. So uh, yeah, that's pretty good. That's close enough approximation. So that's my distance from A to this middle part right here. So if I want to find the entire chord AC, so the entire chord AC, so AC is going to be equal to 2 times 8.95. So that's somewhere, that should be somewhere in the ballpark of, I think it's 17.9 uh, centimeters. And I should also put my units on this guy. So the length of our chord is 17.9 centimeters. So the important thing to remember with this problem is, guys, if you're using Pythagorean theorem and you're not solving for one of the legs, then you have to square the hypotenuse and subtract, or sorry, if you are solving for one of the legs, you have to square the hypotenuse and subtract one of the other legs. You have to subtract if you're solving for one of the legs. And if you're not, then you just got to use the old, uh, this old trusty one here. All right, let's try one more problem, then I'll uh, let you guys move on. All right, let's see. What is the length of chord? Let's just say AC. A, AC. So we're looking for this chord. So we have a slightly different situation here. Um, we have 
what's uh, a line coming from the center and is intersecting this chord at a right angle, even though it doesn't really look like it, but it is. Um, intersects this chord at a right angle. So if we have a line coming from the center and inter intersects the chord at a right angle, that means that this guy is perpendicularly bisected. So if we're looking for this chord AC again, we'll use half. And one thing that students sometimes have trouble finding that I've seen in the past is that when they have a radius given, it's 13, that sometimes you don't realize that they can move that around. Like I have a radius, this is a radius as well, from the center to here to make this right triangle. You really got to be able to visualize that right triangle. So what do you end up with? You end up with now your radius here. So again, we can use Pythagorean theorem again as well. So let's do that. So I will get through this one a little quicker. So x squared minus 13 squared minus 10 squared. So we got x squared is equal to 169 minus 100, or x squared is equal to uh, 69, or x is equal to the square root of 69, which uh, the square root of 64 is 8. So I'm just going to guess this guy to be about 8.3. Somewhere in that ballpark. So um, now that's only x. We need ac. So ac, we're just going to multiply this guy by 2. So 2 times 8.3. That's going to be 16.6 centimeters. And there it is. All right, guys, so this is a common question, multiple choice question on a public exam. Uh, make sure you know Pythagorean theorem. Good luck with your studying. See ya.